I'm here on behalf of the Coastal Environmental Rights Foundation. And like Julia, I feel like I've been here so many times or at this building or seen the VSAW presentation so many times, I could probably give Ken and Bob presentations right now from memory, um, but I won't. <laughs> I, uh, I want to echo some of the concerns of my environmental group allies. I think this whole process has been a little bit backwards and, the, and it is a little disheartening to see that the water purchase agreement comes out and the first public workshop comes out after and then very few members of the public that aren't insiders are here. This is really a group of, you know, a lot of labor people, um, environmental groups. The public really isn't involved. I think one way that the public could have been involved is when a survey was conducted just recently and the questions were a little skewed towards, would you pay $5 more a month for desal? One of the questions could have been, would you pay $5 more a month for desal? And then after that, would you pay $5 more a month for IPR? Because I do think this comes at a cost. You can't diversify and have all the options on the table. At some point, water becomes too expensive. And one of the other options, though some people still apparently don't like toilet to tap, IPR has been accepted by the city of San Diego. Other agencies are looking forward to it. The regional water board is trying to get regulations eased so that that can move forward. I think <laughs> the fact that people support IPR hasn't been mentioned enough. And the public hasn't been participating in this process the way that it could have been. Questions were, were raised about what kind of profit is Poseidon going to see through this water purchase agreement. And frankly, Ken didn't answer that. He knows that number. It's 15 to 17% or in that range. He can correct me. I've heard the numbers somewhere around there. That's a huge profit on this because there's a big risk for the equity investors. There, there is a lot of risk to ratepayers as well energy costs and the energy risk that the ratepayers will, will bear, I don't think has been adequately disclosed. And I really want to see clean energy capital come up with a slide that doesn't have five disclaimers at the end that say you can't speculate what the energy prices will be for 30 years. I think that's unfair to ratepayers and it's unfair to you because you wanted the answers. The last thing I just want to point out, I know I don't have much time, is I've been echoing the concerns I'm stating why isn't the Water Authority doing it themselves? We have a 30-year take or pay till 2046 if this thing is built in 2016 contract, and you have to take the water. If you were doing it yourself, would you build it this way? Would the price be like the way that it is? Would the allocation be this way? Or are you just taking advantage of a project that's supposedly fully permitted so that you can do it now? and? with it taking a lot of risk and allocating a lot of profit to Poseidon. Thank you. Here, here. Thank you.